This is Dirty Dozen. Now entering our studio, a video store clerk from Houston's Fifth Ward, Anthony Clark. A bicycle messenger from Uptown New York, T Dog Jenkins. And a housewife from Clearwater, Florida, Katie Corral. And now the host of Dirty Dozens, Stu Dunphy. Oh, thank you so much. Hello and welcome to the Dirty Dozens, where talking trash can get you cash. So if you listen, you'll hear some dissing. <laughs> All righty, let's look at our categories. Your mom is so stupid. Your mom is so fat. Your mom is so old. And potluck. T-Dog, start us off. I'll take your mama so stupid uh, for a hundred, Stu. All righty. Your mama's so stupid. Your mama's so stupid, she jumped out the window and the hole went up. Yes, T-Dog gets a hundred. So let's reveal the first piece of tonight's mystery diss. <laughs> Gotta take a guess, T-Dog. Uh, your mama's so fat. Uh, they had to baptize it at SeaWorld. <laughs> nice diss, but no. You still have control of the board, T-Dog. I think I will stick with stupid, Stu. And stupid you get. <laughs> your mama's so stupid. Uh, yeah, your mama's so stupid, it takes her two hours to watch 60 Minutes. Correct. <laughs> Anthony in the house with 200. Anthony, what'll it be? Uh, stupid for 300. Okay. Your mama's so stupid. Your mother's so stupid, she scored below average on a recent IQ test. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Anybody? Yeah, uh, your mama's so stupid, she asked for a price check at the 99 cent store. Yes. Now that's one stupid mama. Anthony controls the board. Uh, Stu, I'll take potluck for 100. Wild card category, let's get the 411. Your mama is so short. Your mama so short, she poses for trophies. <laughs> Casting aspersions on your mama. What's next, T-Dog? I will stick with potluck for 200, Stu. And this one is, ooh, your mama is so stank. Your mama is so stank, she's really unpleasant to be around. <laughs> no, up for grabs. Your mama so ugly. When she sits in the sand, the cat tries to bury her. Oh, judges. No. I'm sorry, we can't accept that. The category was Mama So Stank. Not Mama So Ugly, Stank. But you still have control of the board, Anthony. Yeah, uh, let's go to fat for 100. Okay. Your mama's so fat. Your mama's so fat, she sat on a court and squeezed a booger out of George Washington's nose. <laughs> stick with your mama so fat for 200, Stu. Alrighty. Your mama's so fat. Uh, yeah, your mama's so fat when she sits around the house. I mean, she really sits around the house. <laughs> I'm down with that. Pick again. Uh, let's go to potluck for 300. Last in the category, <laughs> your mama's so nasty. Your mama's so nasty, the punk bitch only changes her stanky, funky drawers every 10,000 miles. <laughs> Looks like Katie's down with OPP. <laughs> and it looks like you're on the board with 300. Katie, oh, Your but look at that, we're out of time. Hey, we'll have to reveal the missing pieces and have a look at the mystery disc. The category is Mama So Fat. T Dog. Ugh, your mama's butt is so big, it looks like two pigs fighting over milk dirt. Correct! <laughs> and that gives T Dog the game. So come on over for the lightning round. Well done, sir. Let's meet. Let's meet your challenger, the reigning four-time Dirty Dozens champion, and my main man, Scotty J. Oh, the T 
Terminator in the house. You both know the rules. This is the lightning round. Dozens from any category are accepted. The first man to flinch is eliminated. All right, on your marks and go. Your mama gums is so black she spits you hoo <laughs> Mother teeth so rotten when she smiled, look like she got a mouthful of dice. Fresh. Your mother so old when God said, let there be light, she hit the switch. She died. Dope. Now your mother so fat, she eats biscuits like Tic Tacs. Fresh. Come on. Your mama so black, the police shot at her, and the bullets came back for flashlights. <laughs> Your mother got a mouth in the back of her neck, which is you like this. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, well, your mama got a leg right here, right here, right here, right here, the which is like this. Uh, your mama's so ugly, mama ugly. Mama's so ugly when a person come up to her with a cat, meow, 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 shh, meow, and that ain't the cat. Fresh. Come, come on, come on, come on. Your mama got an ear right here, she talking about, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. Do you? What's up? Folks, T Dog is our champion. Join us tomorrow for another edition of the Dirty Dozens. Good night, everybody. Some contestants on the Dirty Dozens will receive Dry Notion Anti First Print. Made for a man, but strong enough for your mama. This is the Dirty Dozens. Now entering our studio, our returning champion, a bicycle messenger from uptown New York, T Dog Jenkins. A night prison guard from Huntsville, Texas, Sonia Winslow. And a rocket scientist from Carson City, Nevada, Leonard Dinkins. And now the host of Dirty Dozens, Stu Dunphy. Thank you so much. Hello, and welcome to the Dirty Dozens, where talking trash can get your cash. And you'll take home the bank if your mama is stank. <laughs> All righty, let's look at our categories tonight. Mama's so hairy. Mama's so old. Mama's teeth so yellow. And starts with F. <laughs> T-Dog, you're our champion. Start us off. Thank you, Stu. I will take your mama's so hairy for 100. Your mama's so hairy... Your mama's so hairy, her armpits look like she got a Don King in a headlock. Yes, on the board for a hundred. And now let's reveal the first play of tonight's mystery diss. Care to venture a guess, Sonia? But that little piece of nothing? Well, I look like Dionne Warwick's psychic friend. <laughs> Looks like Sonia's insane in the membrane. Let me remind you, I'm merely the host of the show. Now pick a category. All right, um, let's stick with um, Mama So Hairy, Sue. Your mama's so hairy. Your mama's so hairy, Bigfoot take pictures of her. <laughs> yes, an extremely hairy mama indeed. T-Dog, you have control of the board. Let us try starts with F for 100 students. First time in that category, what'll it be? Ooh, your mama's so fat. Your mama's so fat, she bungee jumped and went straight to hell. Correct. You retain control. I will take things that start with F for 200, Stu. Oh, you've happened upon our daily dozen. No need to be afraid, T-Dog. How much do you want to wager? Oh, 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 straight. ta ra ma ra ta ra a ra ma I'll wager 300, Stu. All right, for 300. And the lead that starts with F category is your mama's so funky. So funky. Think about it. <laughs> Need an answer. Uh, your mama's drawers is so funky, the roaches check in, but they don't check out. F to the U to the end of the K to the Y. Funky. 300 points. I think I will take your mama so old for 100. Your mama's so old. Leonard. Uh, uh, your mama sold her first computer was a Univac 200 with a 16K RAM and a magnetic tape data storage system. Judges. Oh, no, we can't accept that. Come on, the Univac's a virtual dinosaur. Anyone else? 
Uh, your mama's so old, she's in Jesus's yearbook. Not a young mama. Sonia, where to? Um, teeth so yellow for 200. Your mama's teeth so yellow. Your mama's teeth so yellow when she yawns, traffic just slows down. <laughs> I think I would take teeth so yellow for 300. Your mama's teeth so yellow. Leonard. Uh, your mama's teeth so yellow when she expectorates, the discharge resembles the coagulated mammarian fats of a domesticated bovine. Judges. I'm sorry, Leonard, but we just don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Come on. The bitch's teeth are so yellow she spits butter. All right. Leonard in the house with 300. And that signals the end of regular dozens. So at this point, we'll clear the board and take a look at tonight's mystery diss. For 500 points and the game. Your mama's so ugly, she had to get her baby drunk just so she could breastfeed her. Yes! And T Dog, with 1,300 points, remains champion. All right, T Dog! Nicely played. You're today's winner, and that means you'll be dissing in the bonus round for a new car. Oh! Oh! Here's what you do to take it home. The driver of the car is Montez. Yo, what's up, Stu? You have one minute to diss Montez so viciously that he gets out of the car to teach your butt a lesson. If you do that, the car is yours. Otherwise, Montez, you get to keep the car. One minute on the clock, and start dissing. Yeah, what's up? Your mama so black, she bleeds smoke. Dude, man, nice try, man, but Damien Football Williams couldn't get me to unass this car. Yeah, well, your mama's hot so dusty, the roaches ride around on doom buggies. Man, why don't you just give up, man? Yo, your mama so fat, her blood type is ragu. We. Yo, your mama so ugly, she got a trick-or-treat over the phone. Man, that don't even bother me, man. Yeah, yeah, your mama's so short, you can see her feet on her driver's license. Yeah. Yeah, man, don't you raise up, man. Yeah, 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 like I said, your mama like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Everybody poking. Ooh. I'm gonna bust your one more time. Yeah, like I said, yeah, your mama's so stinky. Your mama's so stinky, she gets sourdough yeast infection. Oh. Man, who told you? Oh, oh, he did it. T-Dog wins the car. Oh, and that's all the time we have tonight. Join us next time when we'll be dissing for dollars on the Dirty Dozens. I'm Audi 5000. Peace. The Dirty Dozens has been brought to you by Yo Mama's Cakes. Everybody doesn't like something, but nobody likes Yo Mama. Competing tonight for a fortune in fabulous prizes, please welcome... Anthony Clark, Diva Jenkins, and Scotty Jack. Now the host of Wheel of Dozens, Stu Dempsey. Hello and welcome to Wheel of Dozens, where talking trash can get you cash. So when the wheel's turning, it's your mama we're burning. <laughs> oh, but first, let's welcome my lovely assistant, Badjame. <laughs> May I just say, you are all that in a bag of chips. Go to hell, Stu. <laughs> okay, thanks, Badger May. Now show us what our contestants are playing for tonight. Well, Stu, it's a classic lowrider with dual overhead cams and four-wheel hydraulic shocks to keep you bouncing to the beat. This is not your mama's Oldsmobile. Back to you, Stu. One of you just might be driving at home tonight. All right, then. That's me. That's Round me. one, Scotty J. Time to spin the wheel Let's of do dust. This. Here we go. Come on. Your mama's so stank. Your mama's so stank. Your mama's feet so big. Uh, your mama's feet so big, her sneakers got to have license plates on them. Yes. T-Dog, on to you. Right. Okay, Stu. Here we go. Come on, there. Mama's so hairy. Mama's so hairy. Mama's so hairy. Mama's so hairy. <laughs> your mama's butt, T-Dog, is so bony. Your mama's butt so bony, she put her drawers on and cut them in two. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Mama's so fat. Here we go. Mama's so fat. Your mama's so beautiful. Anthony. What? So beautiful, man. Oh. 
<laughs> Sorry, time's up. Not an easy category, Anthony, but plenty of time to make it up in round two, where you double your dollars if you double your disc. Scotty J, let her rip. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Doubling your dollar value. Uh, let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Your mama's so hairy. Uh, your mama's so hairy, she looks like a chia pet with a sweater on. Yes. <laughs> Uh, she got afros on her nipples. Yes! Oh, beautiful. A deuce. T-Dog, you're up. Right, right. Let her rip. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. Your mama's so stupid. Come on now. T-Dog, you've got a stupid mama. Hey, man, if you don't check yourself talk about my mama, like, what's up with you, man? <laughs> Just playing the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just playing the game. Stu. Your mama's so stupid. I told her it was chilly outside. She went and grabbed a spoon. Yes. <laughs> Your mama's so stupid. She got fired at the M&M factory for throwing away the W's. Yes. Double this. Right. Double this. Right. Anthony, your turn. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, uh, Anthony. Uh, come on, come on. Your mama's so good at math. Man, what kind of category is that? Oh, sorry, Anthony, no points again. Yeah, but man, who ever heard of your mama so good? Hey, man, it's over here, man. It's over here, it's over I've said it before. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The wheel can be a hoe. <laughs> that brings us to round three. That's triple dozens, and it's still anybody's game. Scotty J, give it a spin. Uh, let's go. Uh, and we're looking for a greasy mama, Scotty J. Mama, greasy mama, greasy mama. Uh, your mama's so greasy she sweats Crisco. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, your mama's so greasy she used bacon as a band aid. Yes. Uh, your mama's so greasy when she slid in the second base, her ass ended up in Detroit. Hey, that's the tray. Nicely done. T Dog, you're going to have to go three for three to stay alive. Give it a spin. Ain't none, G. Here we go. Come on, come on, your mama's so fat. Come on, yeah, yeah. Your mama's so fat, T-Dog. Your mama's so fat, she play hopscotch like this. L.A., Chicago, New York, Detroit. Right, yes. right, right. Your mama's so fat, she got to wake up in section. Oh. <laughs> yes. Mama so fast, she stood in front of the Hollywood sign and just said HD. Look out, <laughs> Triple play, and the game is tied. Anthony, spin. Man, you heard it. Let her rip. Here we go. Your mama's so hard to buy shoes for. Oh, no, man. Hold on a second, man. This is foul, man. This is foul. <laughs> And Anthony, Anthony, I get your bread. No, yes, I can hear. Okay, Stu, man, tell him to say say Anthony no longer in the house. Don't be scared of him, man. This ain't fair. <laughs> well, she's. <laughs> <laughs> but that means we do have a tie, and that means you're both going to advance to the lightning round. Come on down here for bonus play. You know how the rules are done. You've got one minute to provoke our mystery guest to violence. Hey, bring him on, whatever. Our mystery guest tonight was a recipient of the 1990 Nobel Peace Prize. She has dedicated her entire life to helping the sick, the orphan, and the diseased folk of Calcutta. She's everybody's favorite mama, and certainly no one could make this sweet woman lose her temper. Give it up for Mother Teresa. Oh. Mother Teresa, it's delightful to have you on the game. Thank you. 60 seconds on the clock and begin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your mama's so skinny, I gave her a piece of popcorn and she went into a damn coma. <laughs> yeah, your mama got one arm, she's swimming a circle. <laughs> you see, I have nothing but love in my heart. And you need a tic tac in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you heard him, you heard him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, your mother got one ear and a burnt potato chip. <laughs> yes, but. Yes, yeah, my... yeah, your mama gum so black she can spit chocolate milk. <laughs> oh, come back. You don't know what you say. I still love you. You yeah. still need yes. a tic tac. <laughs> yeah, your mama, your mama's so fat when she wear a red dress, everybody yell, "Hey, Kool Aid!" <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mama's so small, she posed for trophies. Why must you be disrespectful to my mother? She never does nothing That's to you. That's your mama, ain't my mama. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, your mama got so many circles around her stomach, she look like the damn hamburger. Why would you say this about my mother? Hey, She's hey, a good mother. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Stages done it. He wins the car. Here we go, kids. That's all the time we have for tonight. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Hey, kids. Why the long faces? There's nothing to do. We're so bored. Oh, anybody up for a game? What game? Not just any game, Johnny. The Dirty Dozen's home game! <laughs> That's right, folks. Now all the excitement of America's most popular disc fest can be yours at home with the Dirty Dozen's home edition. We're talking trash, get you play cash, and you'll win all the money if your mama smells funny. Oh, Ryan, landed on the head. That's right. Your category is your mama's so stupid. Your mom is so stupid, she saw a sign that said wet floor, so she peed on it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, pumpkin, your turn. There you go. All right, your category, mama's so fat. Your mom is so fat, I played seesaw with her, and I ended up on the damn moon. (laughs) Damn moon, Johnny. (laughs) And if it's high-speed dissing you're missing, try the dozens advanced edition. All right, kids, go. Your mom was so fat, she was the freeway for a slip and slide. <laughs> Your mom is so nasty, you can plant daisies in her butt crack. Butt crack! <laughs> Your mom was so fat, the hoes got a zit in her butt named Mount St. Helen. Bring the noise! Bring the noise! Yeah, good Johnny. Hey, kids, what did I tell you? Don't you be talking about your mama. <laughs> Unless you're talking about the Dirty Dozen's home game. Available where all fine gifts are sold. <laughs> the Dirty Dozen's home game. Fun for all ages, which is exactly what they say about your mama. This is the Dirty Dozens Tournament of Champions. Now entering our studio, a five-time champion from Uptown New York, T-Dog Jenkins. Another five-time champion from Houston's Fifth Ward, Anthony Clark. And last year's Dirty Dozens Tournament champion from Compton, California, Damian Foosball Eichmann. And now the host of Dirty Dozens, Stu Dunphy. to the Dirty Dozens Tournament of Champions. What's up, Stu? T-Dog in the house. How see, are you, my like friend? I just seen you last week, man. We see you here every week. How's your mom? She doing fine. How's the colitis? He all right. All righty. <laughs> we are present at the Dirty Dozens game board. We're talking trash can get you cash, and you might be the champ if your mom is a tramp. <laughs> now, let's look at our categories. Is your mama so bald? Your mama's so fat? Mama's so stupid? And American authors. T-Dog, you won the coin toss. Start us off. I think I would take your mama so stupid for 100. Let's have a look. Your mama is so stupid. Uh, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, uh, your mama is so stupid she tripped over a cordless phone. <laughs> and you're on the board. Pick again. How about mama so fat for 100, Stu? Classic category. Your mama's so fat. T-Dog. Your mama's so fat she look like she's smuggling Volkswagen. <laughs> Mama's a big old greasy hoe. <laughs> Alrighty, T Dog, need a category. I think I will go with American authors for 100 students. New category. Born in 1804, Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote such classic fiction as The Scarlet Letter and The House of the Seven Gables. For $100, how stank was his mama? Foosball. Nathaniel Hawthorne's mother was so stank, she sweated black flag. <laughs> Correct. I'll even at a C spot. Foosball, pick a square. I'll take your mother so fat for 200, Stu. Your mama's so fat. Your, ma- your mama's so fat, she wakes up in sections. 
The underground don't stop for hoes. <laughs> Let's go with your mama so bald then. For 200, your mama's so bald. <laughs> foosball. Your mama's so bald, she blow dry hair like that. <laughs> yes. Foosball, pick a category. Uh, I'll take American authors for 200, Stu. All righty, listen carefully, foosball. <laughs> Author and humorist Samuel Clemens wrote the classic Tom Sawyer under his better-known pseudonym. What was that pseudonym, and how big was his mama's butt? <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, Mark Twain and his mama's butt was so big, if you put your ear up to it, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> and you have control of the board. I'll take mama so fat for 300 stew. <laughs> T-Dog, break him off something. <laughs> You too much, man. <laughs> Your mama's so fat, she got stretch marks on her clothes. Yes. Pick another. Oh, and that's the end of the first round. Let's reveal the final squares of tonight's mystery disc. Gentlemen, peep this. Foosball. Your mother's so fat, the back of her neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. Yes, for 300. Foosball, you and T-Dog are tied. Anthony will say goodbye to you. It's time for your mama's wheel of sudden death. It's time for your mama's wheel of sudden death. You know the rules. I spin the wheel. Whatever body part it lands on, that's where you have to direct your diss. T-Dog. Teeth. Your mama's so toothless. It takes an hour to eat minute rice. <laughs> Foosball, your turn. Eyes. Your mama's so blind, she got eyes on her butt and still can't see squat. Oh. I'm sorry, Foosball. You use the word eyes, but technically that's a butt diss. And that makes T-Dog our winner. <laughs> Congratulations, T-Dog. You've certainly come a long way. Now you can stop here and take home your winnings or face the final test and become a true Dirty Dozen's grandmaster. Are you willing to risk it all, double or nothing, and go for greatness? be facing off with the all-time Dirty Dozens Hall of Fame champion, Ed O'Neill! Who is this loser? Oh, are you trying to step to me, huh? Hey, I have a girl who does that for me. Yeah, come on, Christy Love. What the oh. hell? Oh. Hey, Back off, hey, Nitro. Hey, T-Dog, hey. chill. You and I, T-Y. Yeah. I loved you in coffee. <laughs> She's a rough chick. Now, you'll have to settle your differences on the field of dozens. T-Dog, you've got 60 seconds to diss our champion's mama so badly... He gets his butt out of the Royal Barca Lounger chair. This is for the championship. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, begin. Your mama's so fat, she got a job at Magic Mountain pushing the Buccaneer. <laughs> Your mama's so fat after sex, she smokes turkeys. She's so fat, after making love to her, I roll over twice and I'm still on her. <laughs> Your mama's so stupid, she was filling out a job application that says sign here, she put Sagittarius. <laughs> but your mama's so ugly, Ted Danson wouldn't date her. Your mama's so fat, she plays hopscotch like this. L.A., Chicago, New York. Hi. 
Your mama is so stupid. She gave your uncle because he said it would help his unemployment. Yeah, well, your mama's glass is so thick, when she looks at a map, she can see people waving. And your mama's nose is so big, you can go bowling with her boogers. And your mama's so fat, before God said, let there be light, he told her, move your big butt out of the way. That one, man. What's oh, up? yeah, yeah. You, Ladies you and gentlemen, the champion maintains his throne. Congratulations. Ladies, send him home to his big, fat, stinking mama. We don't love them hoes. <laughs> where talking lip can make you grip and you'll take home the dough if your grandma's a hoe. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, it's time to play the feud. Okay. We surveyed 100 people, top three answers on the board. Here's the question. <laughs> mama's so stupid. Your mama's so stupid, she took toilet paper to a crap game. <laughs> The Jenkins family has control. What will it be, T-Dog? Pass or play? I think we will play, Stu. Already. <laughs> Malcolm, two answers left. Your mama's so stupid. All right. Your mama's so stupid, she flunked the urine test. <laughs> it is. It is. Survey yeah, says... <laughs> the number two answer. Already, Grandma. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All righty, one answer left. Let me remind you, if you answer incorrectly, the trailer family has a chance to steal. The question is, your, your mama's so stupid. Come on, Grandma. Mama's so stupid, she likes to quilt when it's cold outside. <laughs> Damn, right? Uh, survey says... Oh, it's incorrect, and that means the trailers have a chance to steal. Hey, Stu, ain't you gonna kiss me? Oh, not that I wouldn't love to, but you're a little young, Dixie. <laughs> oh, but I'm the best kisser in town. Daddy says so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Still time tender. Hey, Stu, how about me? I'm old enough. Fuck her up, buddy. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, bewitching offer, Clem, but I only kiss the lady folk. <laughs> you got a real pretty mouth. <laughs> okay, I need an answer. Mama's so stupid. Okay, your mama's so stupid, she thinks a moon pie is an ass with whipped cream on it. Your mama was so stupid, when we told her to squeal like a pig, she said moo. <laughs> okay, Clem, need an answer. I, I'm gonna say your mama is so stupid. Stupid. They, uh, she, she bought a birthday card for her husband and her son. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, they're the same damn person, stupid. <laughs> okay. A birthday card for son slash husband. If it's up there, you win the points. If not, the Jenkins keep it. Show me son slash husband. Oh, it's incorrect. The Jenkins win the pot. All right, gentlemen, it's time for round two. Come on up and play the beauty. We surveyed 100 people, top three answers on the board. Here's the question. Mama's so bald. Your mama's so bald, you can see what's on her mind. <laughs> the number one answer. I put a hex on you and your children and your children's children. I'm inside you now, man. <laughs> 
country people with their charming country ways. All righty, Malcolm has control. Hey, man, we're going to play. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes, yes. The Jenkins yes. family. Oops, t Dog. I think it's your grandma's turn. Yeah, well, Granny sucked at this game, so we switched. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that's legal. You're not sure what's legal? <laughs> But what the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I thought. <laughs> mama's so bald. <laughs> Your mama's so bald, she put on a turtleneck and looked like a busted condom. Hey, Steve! What, what's a condom? What, what is a condom? A condom is what? That's where rich folks live. <laughs> so they says. The number two answer. All righty, Grandma. One answer left. Mama's so bald. Yo, yo, I got it, Sue. I got it. I got it. Step off, T Dog. I came to play. All right, Grandma. You get that answer. Hey. Mama's so bald. Your mama's so bald, I told Uncle Harold she should buy a wig, but she didn't listen to me. <laughs> Show me told Uncle Harold she should buy a wig. Oh, sorry, Grandma. No hope on that one. And that means the trailers have another chance to steal. I'm trying to steal. Your mom's so bald, she's as bald as a Chinaman's rear end. I didn't know you were going. Your mom's so bald, she looks like a freshly sheared sheep. And you know how good freshly sheared sheep look? All pink and pretty. And they can't, they can't find you real good or nothing like that. <laughs> Looks like their gene pool could use a filter. <laughs> if it's up there, you win the score. If not, the Jenkins win. Show me freshly sheared sheep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> they must have run that survey through Mississippi. Well, that means we've got a tie in our hands. And that means a playoff between the heads of the family. Clem, T-Dog, come on down here. You'll be competing head to head. For $10,000, there's a minute on the clock. Ready, go. Your mama's so skinny, she swallowed a marble and was nine months pregnant. <laughs> Your mama was so ugly, she couldn't get lucky at a family reunion. <laughs> Your mama was so fat, she got stretch marks on her clothes. <laughs> so small, she can hang glide on a Dorito. <laughs> Your mom was so stupid, she... She's stupid. <laughs> Your mom was so stupid, she went to Dr. Dre for a pap smear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And it looks like the Jenkins family are our winners. Malcolm, Graham, and congratulations. You are winners today on the Family Dozens. Are you trying to tell me we didn't win, Stu? Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Join us next time for another Family Dozen. <laughs> you okay? Congratulations.